ओके वेलकम एवरी वन टू टू डेज लव पीस हारमोनी मीटअप टूडे we will focus on the recent natural disasters that we see in the news we are watching we want to do a lot of things for them and um, many of us have contributed in different ways singing love peace harmony sends the high frequency vibrations positive field positive thoughts positive information to that part to the people who live there and uh, makes their lives easier uh, they it empowers them to uh, face these challenges so we will call in the souls of all the people who are suffering right now who are in these places syria turkey and other places that are affected by the recent earthquakes one thing that came to my mind was how these natural disasters affect our relationships now think about it you are uh, living together with a neighbor for 20 years and you really don't like that person because that person is doing something every day or cooking something and that really smells not so good and you're really irritated and but now you're so much used to this But you really don't like this person, and some calamity like this strikes. Kind of earthquake, and you see that person uh, that needs help. You will jump out and help that person. You will forget what you like about that person, what you don't like about that person, what he said yesterday, what he said ten years ago. or what is it 20 years ago and after that incident when you two again live together probably in a different neighborhood how will your relationship be would you still be affected with that small things that irritated about that person Your hearts will be open towards each other. Probably you might just communicate that really I don't like the smell of what you cook. This time I will construct something this way so I don't get the smell or something like that. You know, you will just communicate. You will build bridges. You will find solutions. You will bring more harmony and more peace rather than being irritated and living in that anger. the frustration for all years but one natural disaster one issue and brought you closer together what happened with covid many families broke but many families came back together so yes challenges look like challenges but they play different role in different people's life at different times so let us keep our minds open towards finding solutions and we really don't want such challenges such disasters to come into our lives to make our relationships better we can open our hearts before any such disaster and we wish to do that right so we will invite all the people all the relationships at work in our families neighborhoods everywhere that we are having issues with we get irritated by them we feel saddened we feel fearful around them any negative emotion that these people bring about insecurity inferiority right it just activate those things within you let us call in all the souls and all the souls affected by the natural disaster souls of everyone and everything 
the souls of all humanity all around the world. Please join us in singing Love, Peace, Harmony to open our hearts to each other. As we open our hearts, as we accept each other as we are, and bring more love, peace, and harmony. We make our lives better. We make lives of our loved ones better. And we make this world a much, much better place to live. Let us put one hand on our navel or lower abdomen, another hand on our heart. And say, dear divine, dear the source of all creation, dear all my spiritual teachers, spiritual fathers and mothers, I love you, I honor you, I appreciate you. Please forgive me, my ancestors, my descendants. Please forgive us. For all those times when we did not build bridges when we could, when we couldn't open our hearts and live in love, peace, and harmony. Dear the soul of Mother Earth, please forgive us. Please forgive us for you that made us. Please forgive us for all these times that you had to go through to make us understand and to open our hearts to each other. Dear all the souls that have come in, I love you. I unconditionally love you. I open my heart towards you. Please forgive my ancestors, descendants, and me for all our mistakes in the past, where we have hurt you, harmed you, caused any kind of conflict that caused you to close your heart, caused you pain, caused you suffering. Please forgive us. We sincerely, deeply ask for your forgiveness. Dear all the souls, I completely unconditionally forgive, release and let go of all the hurt, harm, anger, irritation, anything, any bothering, anything that bothers me in this moment right now. I completely unconditionally forgive everyone and everything. I love you unconditionally. I forgive you unconditionally. Dear myself, I love you unconditionally. I forgive you unconditionally. Let us all come together, chant together the divine soul song of love, peace, and harmony to open our hearts to each other to build bridges and bring more love. Chant together. Everyone coming together, hugging each other, helping each other, understanding each other, exhibiting, expressing confident generosity, hope, love, and light without any.
silently into yourself to all the souls that you are connected. What you wish to say? Share your messages of love and light to everyone. Let it all alone and forgive you unconditionally. You love and forgive me unconditionally. You love and bless me. You think about one request for your physical, emotional, mental body. You turn on my empowerments. People who are live, people who wish to receive, just say your name. Silently, dear divine, my name is, and I wish to receive healing for. Silently. Start. And open your heart to just receive. Visualize to light in the area of your request. Could be a relationship, a emotion, just one issue. Appropriate. It is perfect. Let's express our gratitude to all the souls that came in, to all the heavenly beings, to our soul, heart, mind, and body. We are extremely grateful for what we received today. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Love you, love you, love you. Gong song, gong song, gong song. It means respectfully return to all the souls that we have brought today. Gently open your eyes, give words to your feelings, to your experience, and share whenever you feel ready.